Have you guys ever wanted to learn a little bit about the animal that provides 90% of the world's milk supply? Well, you're in luck because in this video we will go in depth on a specific part of a cow, its eye. An eye is an organ that senses light and allows an organism to see, which is one of the five senses. A cow eye and a human eye are actually quite similar, structure wise, so you can actually learn something about your own eyes. Areas that are not usually present during an eye dissection are the eye muscles and other structures that are involved in the eye but are hard to see. These include the tear gland, which is a bulge on the top of the eye which contains tears to wash the surface of the eye, lacrimal ducts, which is simply the tube that carries tears from the tear gland to the eye, superior rectus, which is the muscle on the top of the eye which helps raise the eye, inferior rectus, which is the muscle on the bottom of the eye, which helps lower the eye, lateral rectus, which is the muscle on the outer side of the eye, which helps move the eye to the opposite direction of the nose, medial rectus, which is the muscle on the inner side of the eye, which helps the eye move towards the nose, superior oblique, which is the muscle on the top of the eye, which angles the eye to look down and out, inferior oblique, which is the muscle on the bottom of the eye, which angles the eye to look up and out, and finally the eyelids which cover the eye and protects it from dust, impact, and bright light. Hi guys, my name is Hanya Mir, and I'm going to be dissecting a cow's eye. With the help of my partner, Mojda Hussain, I will explain to you the internal and external structures of a cow's eye. And it will look something like this later on. So, In preparation for this dissection, you will need gloves so you don't end up touching the eye, a lab coat so you don't get stuff on your clothes, and a hair tie in case you have long hair so it doesn't get in the way, and also a face mask so you don't inhale parts of the eye. Here are the tools you will need for this dissection, which includes scalpel, tweezer, scissors, and probes. Before we dissect, let's observe the outer areas of the cow eye. The sclera is a thick, tough, white outer layer that covers all around the eyeball. In the middle is the cornea. It is clear, thick, and has many layers that allow light to pass through. Notice, there is fat around the eye. It cushions the eye as it sets itself. There is a thin, moist membrane that covers in front of the sclera. It is called the conjunctiva. At the back of the eye is the optic nerve. It is what connects the eyes to the brain and sends signals of images that it captures, so the brain can interpret its picture. The hole in the middle of the eye is the pupil. It expands and contracts according to the amount of light put through it. If more light is put through, the pupil contracts. Now we're going to begin the dissection by removing the fat around the eye, so we can see the optic nerve more clearly. Now we're going to pierce the sclera and cut along that hole, so we can observe the internal structures of the eye. Now that we have taken the two pieces apart, let's observe the top layer first. This clear, jelly-like substance is filled in the posterior cavity. It makes up about 80% of the mass in the eye and gives it its shape. This is called the vitreous humor. Now we have inverted the eye and have removed most of the vitreous humor. This round thing over here is the lens. The lens is normally easy to remove from the eye and it has an opaque color if it has been preserved. Otherwise, the lens is connected to the ciliary muscles with eye ligaments and is clear enough to be transparent. 
The lens can be used for magnification. We are going to remove it so you can see it properly. The lens here, you see, is attached to the ciliary body, which contains the aqueous humor and muscle fibers which change the shape of the lens. Now that we have removed the lens, notice how squishy the lens is or how easy it is to change the shape. The iris and the aqueous humor are very hard to observe when the cut is made on the sclera. So, we will show you those parts in another eye. Now let's move back to the parts of the eye. This white tissue is the retina. It contains light sensitive cells which send signals to the brain via the optic nerve. This part where the retina fuses with the optic nerve is the optic disc. It is known as the blind spot. It is so because there is no light sensitive cells there. This dark layer is called a choroid. In several animals, this is a shiny layer coat that reflects light back in the eye that helps the animals see in the dark. Now we're going to show you the aqueous humor and the iris. But this time we're going to cut around the cornea instead of the sclera. We have pierced the cornea and the black liquid that is squirted out is the aqueous humor. This black gooey substance oozes out of the anterior cavity, more specifically the anterior chamber. As it comes out, the cornea deforms. This means the aqueous humor gives the cornea its shape. Now we're going to squeeze out the internal material. The jelly-like substance is the vitreous humor as we mentioned before. The black ring around the lens is the iris. The iris is what gives the eye the color that is around the pupil. The iris is located on the posterior chamber. And here you have it, the complete dissection of a cow eye. The eye of a cow and a human are very similar in structure. For example, they both have the optic nerve that connect the eye to the brain. But let's observe some differences between the two. Human eyes have six muscles that help the eye move in its socket. However, cow eyes have four muscles, so they actually have to move their heads in all directions to see. Unlike the human eye that is circular and small, cow eyes are much larger and oval shaped. The iris is what gives the eye its color. The cow Iris is always black, but human irises are a variety of colors depending on genetics. Human eyes need light to see, but cows have an extra part known as tapetum that allows them to see in the dark. Cow eyes are further apart from each other, so cows can be aware of predators, but human eyes are much closer together as they are the predators looking for prey. Speaking of cow eyes, let's see how much you know about cows, other than the fact that they provide the milk that you drink. Cattle have almost a 360 degree vision. This helps them see predators coming from any direction. Not only is their sense of sight great, but their sense of smell is even better. Cows can smell odor up to 5 miles away. The black patches on a cow are like fingerprints, because no two cows can have the same spots in the same pattern. Did you know the cow has 207 bones in its body? A cow can walk upstairs, but it's impossible for a cow to walk downstairs because its knees cannot bend that way. Humans and cows have the same pregnancy duration, which is about 9 months. Did you know that cows actually hear very low and very high frequencies better than humans? <laughs>